I know I said that I was going to make any videos until the end of my finals, but this is a really important one. Right now the Jazz are up three games to two over the Los Angeles Clippers. Even without Blake Griffin, I'm going to explain to you why the Clippers are going to come back from th uh, down three games to two to come back, beat the Utah Jazz, and face their rival, the Golden State Warriors, in the next round of this playoffs. Blake, Blake Griffin is hurt, but I believe Chris Paul is going to be the man to lead L.A. back in comeback fashion. And the Clippers are due for a big year next season. I'm explaining to you why the Clippers are going to come back against the Utah Jazz. So right now, as you see, the Clippers, they have 53 wins. You include their two playoff wins. They have a total of 53 wins. Likewise, the Utah Jazz right now have a 3-2 lead. They have 33 losses. This is a 16-17 NBA season. 16-17 and 17 add up to 30. And this is their 33rd season in Los Angeles. And it's going to be a really, really key tribute also for Paul Pierce, who is retiring this year for the Los Angeles Clippers, and he, and he wears number 34. The number 34 for Paul Pierce is really, really significant for him because right now the Clippers have 34 losses. So the Clippers are going to come back in tribute to Paul Pierce, the native of Oakland, California, and the Clippers would then face the Golden State Warriors who play at Oakland, California. And Paul Pierce's last game as an NBA player would take place on the road at Golden State, at the Oracle, at his hometown of Oakland, California. So keep that in mind. This is going to be a tribute for Paul Pierce extend his NBA career for at least four more games. Paul Pierce would retire after facing the Golden State Warriors. They play at Oakland, California. That's where he's from. So that is the significance of Paul Pierce in Oakland. And don't believe it's all over yet because of Blake Griffin and not uh, hurting his toe or whatever. It may be out for six months or whatever. Whatever is happening with Blake Griffin. Now, uh, Game 7 is going to be played on April the 30th, and the date numerology of that game is 71. Now, this is the Warriors' 71st season in the NBA this year. It's Golden State's 71st season. There have been some Jesuit tributes that are to be made. Jesuit equals 84. The Comeback Clippers equals 184. Comeback Clippers. Two-season Comeback Clippers. CC forms a 33. Comeback Clippers. CC forms a 33. Once again in the Clippers' 33rd season. The, war the Clippers would then face Kevin Durant and the Warriors. Kevin Durant wears number 35 for the Golden State Warriors. And the loser of this series is going to finish at 35 wins. The winner faces Kevin Durant, number 35. The winner then loses their, thir their 35th game against Kevin Durant and the Golden State Warriors. This is... All that I believe that uh, I need to say for this comeback. Their 39th season in Southern California. Paul Pierce is 39 years old. Definitely a KE tribute to look out for. And the single date numerology, actually, the date numerology when you 
ignore the 20 in 2017 equals 51. So game 7, date numerology of 51. Is this a conspiracy? We call that conspiracy equals 51 in Gematria. So if the, the Chicago Bulls uh, Celtics game does not go to a game 7, then I believe this game would go to a game 7. If not both, the NBA needs a game 7 Sunday. We all stay home. This is good viewership for the NBA. We have a big market, Los Angeles against the Utah Jazz and uh, you know I have not looked at the amount of playoff wins that Doc Rivers has I will post a comment about that in my video but uh, Quinn Snyder I'll need to look up really quickly and it's pretty much the end of my video Uh, 129 victories, let's see, you know, 31 losses, 117 losses, you know, four losses in the playoffs takes the coach, Quinn Snyder, to 121 losses, you know, doing this on the spot, uh, that's interesting because relevation equals 121, uh, 49, also we have uh, Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant also equals 49, and likewise, Warriors equals 49. So this is going to be a Clippers comeback, L.A. versus Golden State. Blake Griffin is her, but Chris Paul is going to be the man. And this is it for me until the end of next Friday by May the 5th. That's when I'll be up on YouTube again, but uh, this, I guarantee you, uh, this is my last video. I have to get ready for finals next weekend. Uh, no more videos to be made. I'm not going to make a prediction video for the next NHL round or the NBA round. I just got a lot of studying uh, for finals to do. So once again, I'll see you in about a week and a half. I believe the Clippers will come back against the Jazz.